It's easy for people to mix up mold with mildew, considering both are fungi known for thriving in warm areas that have a lot of moisture. But there are some differences between the two that people should know before trying to prevent or treat either from growing. Here's a rundown how to tell the difference between mold versus mildew prior to treating the problem. 1. What are the differences in appearance between mold versus mildew? One of the most important ways one can tell mold from mildew is how each fungus looks. Mildew is typically white, gray, or yellow and grows on the surface of moist or warm areas. Its texture is fluffy or powdery. On the other hand, mold tends to be green or black and it usually grows underneath the surface of anything that has gotten wet. Its texture can be fuzzy or slimy. Ew. 2. Where does each type of fungus grow? Both mold and mildew can grow quickly in warm or moist places, but each type seems to have a preference when it comes to where, it's where to start growing. Mildew is often found on items that have damp surfaces with fabric, paper, and leather um, being some common household items that might end up with mildew after they get wet. Mildew is also sometimes found on the floors, walls, ceilings of areas with lots of humidity such as bathrooms or kitchens or even basements. While mildew can also grow on the surface of agriculture, such, such as potatoes or grapes, mold is often the type of fungus found on food such as cheese, bread, or even meat. Additionally, it's not uncommon to find mold in indoor or outdoor places that have gotten wet, such as sheds, crawl spaces, garages, and boats. 3. What are the effects of mold versus mildew? Well, mold and mildew have different effects on the surfaces where they grow and the people who live in their vicinity. For example, mildew can harm the food it grows on, but it doesn't typically leave lasting damage to other surfaces such as tile floors or bathroom mirrors. Additionally, anyone who inhales mildew spores may start coughing, get a headache, or have trouble breathing, so this fungus can present um, some health, health issues. Wow, that's sad. However, the effects of mold tend to be more serious. Mold can damage entire structures, including homes and vehicles. It can cause long-term health problems for people. The difference in the effects of black mold versus mildew is pretty stark, as reactions to mold can include respiratory issues, heart problems, joint pain, migraines, fatigue, and depression. In addition, anyone who has mold allergy may experience congestion, sneezing, and irritation of the eyes, throat, and skin. That is why it's important to prevent or treat mold as soon as possible. Don't let it grow, it'll soon take over your entire house. 4. How hard is it to get rid of mold vs mildew? Yet another difference of mold vs mildew is how difficult it is to get rid of each fungus. With mildew, all it typically takes is a mildew cleaner and good scrubbing brush. However, mold is not an issue that most people should be dealing with on their own. Mold removal is best left to professionals. I mean, you, you are not a professional, sorry to tell you that. The being said, it is possible to prevent mold without hiring anyone for the job since there are mold prevention tactics to try. It's also possible to buy bought mold and mildew prevention sprays at the store and online. You can be considered a professional, I guess. Okay, so now we're down to the last question and this is probably the most disturbing question. This question will focus on mold, and the question is, is mold safe to eat? Ugh. Okay, ugh. Now I'm gagging. Ugh. Mold may not be your biggest problem, it's just what you see. The bacteria and viruses that cause these foodborne illnesses are just too small to see. So if food is molding in your fridge, that's a sign it's been there too long. If you open the bread box or crisper drawer and come across mold on your snacks that are supposed to be fungus free, well, you should pass. You should not eat it. Not because it's dangerous, but because it isn't delicious. Like, it's nasty. I have not tried it. I don't want to try it, and hopefully you don't want to try it. Um, if you do want to try it, um, yeah, that you've got problems. If you were to accidentally eat a little bit of mold, it's not bad. But being surrounded by a bunch of mold or eating a lot of mold will eventually Ooh, cause health problems, like I've said. Did you just hear what I said? 
you, you <laughs> have <laughs> problems if you want to eat mold. Dude, That's disgusting. Dude, the green thing. It, it's bad oh, for so you. Delicious. Don't, don't. <sighs> oh my gosh. So, do you still want your favorite cheese you really left in the it. fridge and is now covered oh, in mold? Or that orange you so desperately it. wanted uh -huh. that you left in the kitchen and forgot really to eat and is now covered uh -huh. in mold? Well, I today's your it. lucky day because I've uh -huh. got some great news for you. I already ate it. Don't eat it! Uh -huh. Remember, it's only okay if you accidentally it. eat it in a very small portion of it. it. Other uh -huh. than that, it's extremely I harmful to it. you. Uh -huh. Please leave. No. Please no. leave. And that ends this video. Bye. 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 No, I'm going to say bye last. Bye.